The House has overwhelmingly approved legislation to give health care providers more tools to deal with the opioid crisis. Audra Stafford explains how the crisis is impacting San Diego and how social media is also playing a role, especially among teenagers. Opioids were linked to 272 deaths here in San Diego County last year, and more than half of those involved fentanyl. The synthetic opioid is 40 to 50 times more powerful than heroin, and experts say even a tiny amount can be deadly. The McAllister Institute, a drug treatment center in El Cajon, says what's really scary is that many opioids are very easy and relatively inexpensive to get even for teenagers. And when they see images of musicians and other celebrities doing drugs on social media, surrounded by money and fancy cars, it can make it seem cool. It seems like people need to post or they need to be doing something and showing the world on their Instagrams and their Facebooks and their Snapchats that they're living this exciting life, which we only get to see a fraction of that. We don't get to see what happens after the party ends or after the day is over. Experts recommend you talk to your children sooner rather than later about the dangers of drugs and start by asking them what they know. I'm Audra Stafford.